We don't have the pricing. What is what is going to cost me? Um, look, I'm sure it'll be competitive. I don't think they're going to be sort of far out of range. I think what will be hard is to understand how they could tie up all these different things. There's Apple Music. There's Apple News now, as we've seen. What is this TV thing going to cost? And if I want to buy into an HBO subscription but not a Showtime subscription, how does that work? Right. So that's going to be the, the big question as we get to the finale of this thing. But I am impressed by the, all the stars they were able to corral to get on stage with Oprah as basically the headliner. Uh, I mean, that's big. That's a signal that, hey, Hollywood likes us for now and wants to work with us in some way. Mark, is there anything that you've heard so far today that has changed your view in one way or another on Apple's shares? Uh, not on Apple shares. I won't comment on that, but I'm just thinking about the other uh, names that are in play now. Netflix, Roku, Amazon. I think for Netflix so far, it's a non-event and you haven't seen much movement in Netflix's stock. Netflix is still going to be dramatically outspending anybody else on original content, including uh, Apple, something like 7x uh, times as much. Roku is interesting. That stock's up today because Apple has specifically called it out as a distribution partner. And Roku's Raison d'etre, raison TV, is to get uh, is to have people think about it as a neutral Switzerland. So it's just one more package that's going to be streamable via Roku. So that's a positive for that company and for Amazon, the other kind of internet major sort of media company out there. It also seems like a non-event. They also have a competing package. The price point is going to be really key here. And here's the anchor to think about: eight ninety nine. That's the basic plan you can get with Netflix. Something like this, you know, if you're if you really want to be disruptive, coming below that, I doubt that's what we're going to see. And what they're talking about in terms of a broad TV service package, my guess is we're talking 15 to 20 bucks a month, but we'll see. Walt, uh, the event apparently is now concluded. So that that is the sum total of the announcements I guess we're going to get. Um, so maybe price is not price. then part of this. Walt, why, why do you think that is? <laughs> because I don't think they have enough content to justify any price that they could stay, say that they wouldn't be ridiculed by the media community, whether it's six dollars or eight dollars, you know, for the amount of content that they have. Um, to be able to charge even though that those types of dollars, I think, you know, would be an issue with the media community. So I think it's probably better for them to use this as an advertisement to tell the content community, like, look, you know, we've got these stars already. We're going to continue to build this. Maybe by the fall that we'll have enough content to justify some type of price. But this is going to be a multi-year um, process for them in order to build up enough content to generate um, a meaningful uh, monthly bill for customers.